Hey everybody, this is Dolores. And what I want to talk to you about today is to tell you that this is your season. And every season is your season. Whether it is a bad season or a good season. The only thing is, is when it is your good season, you have to know how to store for the bad season. Okay, so that you have enough to make it through the bad season until your good season come again. Okay, so it's just like harvest. Okay, and it's just like the four seasons. Let me use an example. Today is Sunday that I'm making this video and today is the first day of spring. So as what my calendar tell me, so as what the newsologer, meteorologer tells me. And so as that has been predicted by man, okay? But the way that I was raised, I was raised that the seasons is determined by God, okay? I was taught to pay attention to my signs, okay? For example, so today is the first day of spring, but when I woke up this morning, it was cold, Okay? It was cold enough to make you want to put on some boots and make you want to put on a jacket. Probably almost a coat, but not just something light, something kind of medium, okay? And I remember talking to a friend today, and I said, today is the first day of spring. And she said, yeah. And I said, uh, hmm. And she said, what? I said, um, did you see any Easter lilies? She said, no. I said, then spring not here, Okay. And the reason why I said that to you all is because I was taught to pay attention to my signs. Pay attention to what God does and not man. In life, we are too dependent on what man says. What the guy at the news channel station says. What the weather guy says. And all you have to do is look up towards heaven. Look up at the sky. And the sky is going to predict to you what type of weather is coming. Even if rain is coming, you can smell rain. Even if it's extremely hot, you can smell heat. And if it's extremely cold, you're going to blow out, cold air out of your mouth, okay? So, there are four seasons in a year. But remember, God's timing is not ours. So, one day is like a thousand years to Him. So, we're... Everybody's celebrating the first day of spring today. I'm not. Because the sign for me for spring is not here. And that's seeing the Easter lily that let me know spring is here. You know, as the season changes, so does the leaves on the tree changes. That's another sign. So, what I'm saying, you all, this is your season. This is a good season. Because you have sowed a good harvest. And that means you put in a lot of hard work, sweat, tear, investment. And in branding yourself and being who you are through your purpose. So that it became your passion. Okay. And now your passion is your purpose. Is to help others become successful. By branding themselves. Going into business for themselves. Doing whatever it is that they need to do for them to get recognized and start attracting and connecting to the right people for their type of business. That's called targeting market, okay? And getting people to connect with you. And there's easiest ways to do that. You know, blogging, videoing, newsletters, which we call email broadcasts. There's a lot of free tools out here. There's a lot of value information. So this is your season. Apply all that you know into it. Use it successful. Because when you apply this knowledge and give people value, people are going to want to connect with you. And people are going to want to buy from you. Because you have something that they can use over and over and over and over again. Building their own platform. Okay? 
And that is what I'm doing right now. I'm building my own platform. I'm building my own character. I I'm doing it all. And you can too. Okay. So sometimes we have to lead by an example. And this is a good season for me. But the deal of it is this season could last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years, ten years. I don't know when a bad season or a season that I don't get a good harvest might come. So while I'm in my good season, I'm also going to store for the bad season like we do when we store for the winter. You know, like in the summertime, we got corn, we got peas, we got tomatoes, we got okra. We got all sorts of stuff that we can grow because we plant good seeds and now we got good harvest. But in the winter time, there's a lot of things that cannot grow and will not grow. So what we do, we store it up so we can have the same good food because we store it, we package it, we freeze it, we seal it. We do what we got to do during the good season. So when the bad season come, or the season that don't kind of give us a good crop, or maybe a tornado come through or whatever, because tornadoes are storms in your life, you all. So what I'm talking about is talking about your life to store up, okay? So get yourself positioned with a platform. Get yourself set so that you can brand yourself. There's definitely going to be a link above or below this video so that you can click on, because now is the time. Yes, you might work for a company, but what happens when the doors close on that company or that company is no longer in business, then how are you going to get another stream of income coming into your household? It's nice to have more than one stream of income, and it's definitely nice when you have branded yourself on a platform that you can sell any type of products or services, okay? So now's the opportunity through all the value and the information that I'm giving you, that you can start branding yourself, setting up your own platform, generating leads, and getting sales through me offering you a Facebook cheat sheet, okay? It's a free cheat sheet to show you how to begin branding yourself. Regardless of what company you work for, it could be health and wellness, it can be real estate, it can be personal training, it can be fitness, it can be water, it can be energy, it can be a book, it could be an ebook, it could be videos, it could be whatever. But brand yourself so that you can have your own platform. So if a business does go out of business, or say the business don't go out of business, but you want to put yourself in front of that business so that people are entrusting in you. You are giving people value and people want to connect with you and buy it from you and nobody else. They can go buy whatever they want from anybody. You can go Google it and find it. But when they trust you and you have built a friendship with clients and customers, then they will do business with you and nobody else. So we're going to start with a free Facebook cheat sheet that you can download. There's going to be a link above or below this video. And let's get you started today on branding you and enjoying the season that you are in. Because you do not know how long this good season is going to be so that you can store for when the storm does come into your life so that you will have everything you need. That you reap the harvest now, and then you have a store that you still have harvest even during the storm in your life. Everybody, this is Dolores. The link will be above or below. Follow me on my Facebook fan page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on LinkedIn. Follow me on Instagram. And definitely check out my blog at DoloresMagahaBlog.com.